All right, welcome to LearnWire. Today we're going to be talking about web stories, Google web stories, right? This has been around for a couple of years. I don't think very many people are using them because it takes effort, but you can gain a lot of traffic to your website if you do it right. Now, me personally, I have not even done one before, but uh, I think I'm going to try a few, at least as a case study, and I'll keep you guys posted if I get any traffic from any of these web stories. But essentially, you're going to take your content that you're already posting on your website, and you're going to create a web story, which is, I mean, in a, in a sense, you can think of it as a combination between like a... Um, PowerPoint presentation or a Google Slides presentation and a TikTok video or YouTube short and kind of combined, smush them together into about five slides worth. And it can be interactive. It, there's buttons that people can push to go visit your site. Um, there are, you can add videos, text, um, and any uh, images, anything like that. And so you kind of just put these together and they can take time. And even after looking at other cre content creators, I mean, they do take time, right? And the balance between how much time you're spending on creating the web stories versus just creating more content, that is uh, up for debate. But nonetheless, there's example after example all over the place of people that do get sometimes upwards of half their traffic to their website or more um, from web stories. So, and here's one right here, how to increase your website traffic. Um, and we're just looking at the different ways. And here's what a web story looks like right here. You guys have probably, I've actually seen them and I didn't really know what they were, but it's where there's a little notch uh, at the top and it just keeps going to, and you can kind of scroll through um, and get to the end, right? And if you click on any of the buttons, it generally is going to send you to the website. So hence getting more traffic to your articles and your website, right? More exposure to your site. So there's that one right there. And then I actually watched this video over here, increased traffic with web stories. And this lady right here, the, um, Kathy Dean, she actually has a master class and so forth. I think it's like 70 bucks. I might actually order it to learn um, how she's um, using these in her business. Now she's creating at least three to five of these per week and she's getting really good results with, um, with creating web stories. So that's a cool video uh, I recommend checking out. But today we're going to be looking at, we're going to go into my site and look at this. But um, before I do that, I'm going to tell you about a software, the software that we're going to use to be able to do this quickly. You could use a Canva or some other uh, video creation softwares, of course, but um, I'm always trying to find softwares that are going to do specifically one thing and do it really, really well. And this is literally called Story App Story. And so it is, it was designed to create uh, Google Web Stories very quickly and get the embed code and publish them on your website. And yes, there are uh, plugins that you can use inside your website. We can go over here to plugins, um, add new, and I think that we can go in and literally say um, web story. If we type in web story, um, this web story is right here and you can download that one right there and you'll be able to uh, insert your web stories into your website. But it's uh, simple when you use this software over here, you'll be able to just grab the link and also um, publish it on your site as well. And this is going to be, so what this uh, over here does, I believe, is that this is just going to allow you to be able to publish it, but it's not going to create the web story for you. You have to have a designer. You have to have a video creation software to be able to do that. And that's where this comes in story. You can also publish from story. You can also hook up your own domain to story if you wanted to as well. And then finally, before I show you how to create one, we're going to do that together. Actually, I really, um, I'm kind of using it for the first time, but we can actually come over here and you can manage a store in here. You can add, you can actually come over here to store manager and you can add products in here. You can add your product, you can add a price and you can hook this up to a domain of your uh, choice inside of here. And people will actually click on it and go to your website and actually purchase. And you can literally purchase from inside the software. You can actually check orders and analytics inside of here. And you can actually check on sales, how much, how much visitors you're getting, um, from your products that you're get, um, putting in here into story. So there's some really cool things that you can do inside this software, but let's go and create a web story because we want to focus on just getting traffic back to our website. So what you would do is you can come over to new story or, and click on that for a fresh one. 
or you can go over to templates and just kind of scroll down and you'll see that there is a ton of templates in here and we're going to just create a basic one but you can get really fancy ones like that and you replace the video background in there you can replace the background and so forth but i'm going to find one that's a little bit more simple to um, edit and let's just do this one for here use template something real simple and we're going to grab something from our site let's just grab this one right here um, and we're going to grab, I'm just going to grab the keyword because this is the one that I'm going to associate with my website. So we're going to come back over here and I'll just title it that and create story. And now we have this immediately, um, ready to, um, update one, two, three, four, five. I think it defaults to five. We can add more pages, um, but it def defaults to five right there. It does have a check checks and balances as well. If you could push the publish button, uh, you can come over here and you can uh, update all the meta, um, add meta tags the publisher details right here um, and then if you have a google tracking code or facebook tracking code you can actually put that in there to measure your traffic but the story validation right here the story length looks good your title is too short it should be between 10 and 30 characters so that's where we're going to put that title in. and so it will your story has enough text um, the character counts is 892 um, and so forth so it's going to uh, check everything before you go and publish it um you know where it'll get basically denied anyways so really cool things that um you can do inside of here we can change the uh, background color um you can even put your hex code in there and change it to anything you want but um you can also go with like an overlay uh, right here as well um there's some some really cool things you can do you can add a media in the background as well so like right here we can just say uh, YouTube and maybe we can grab this one right here and then that's going to change that into the back as well. You can get rid of this uh, like piggy bank thing right here. I'm just going to push the delete key. Oh wait, no, right click and then delete and then gets rid of it. So now we're looking a little bit more professional, I think. Um, we can also come with that one because we have the white text. We're going to go with that one. That's cool. So we're going to come back over here and then you can see over here to the left that there's background, there's templates, uh, text, uh, content generation, media, audio elements, uh, engagement buttons right over here that we can add as well, like the learn more. Um, and then the text to image right here. It looks like that might be like a uh, text prompt. You can create some, it looks like some AI. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm going to just push money and push search. And here we go. You know, it's AI and it's creating some AI images immediately for us. They have that built in really cool stuff. But really, when you go over to media, you're going to be able to find all the different videos and GIFs and images in here. They have a massive uh, stock library inside there already. Um, and then if you want to change the text out, you can go to content generation and we can just say um, how to make money on YouTube and push search and look at they have their own AI uh, built in right here. I don't know if it's, um, you know, GPT three or w what they're using, but they have their own right over here and they're, you're going to get four inputs right here. You can actually grab this text and throw it in over here, right? So you can use that to create as many of these as you want. You can add more text, um, the size of text and go back to templates as well and so forth. So, but what I'm going to do is come back over here and just grab some, um, text right here. So I'm going to grab this one right here. I'll go back over into story and then I'm going to, uh, paste that in right there. And so we have, and then I'm going to, um, grab this. We can move this anywhere we want. I'm going to put it up here where you can really see it, how to make big money. Um, online without paying anything. I don't know where that, why that blue is right there highlighted, but that's fine. I'm going to leave it. And then right here is the button and you can say learn more. And this is where, uh, where are we going to put in our site? We'll come. Oh, here's the link right here. So this is important. So we're going to come back over here to your website and you can grab the website link, come back over here. And this is the link. If someone clicks, they're going to go visit your site. Okay. So then now we're going to go over to the next slide over here. And we can go and there's some cool things we could go and uh, use. Um, we can we can uh, summarize all this text to get the best text out of it. Or we can just come in and grab, you know, maybe just grab some text um, for example purposes. But there's a lot of ways that we can go in 
I'm going to control V right there. There's a lot of ways that we can go in and actually um, get our content summarized for us as well. I'm not going to go over that in this video. So that seems to be highlighting and we can change this like that. That's kind of cool. Um, highlighting in the background that we have the purple background text. I'm going to go back over to background and they just have these basic colors up here. I want a dark, like a darker blue. So I'm actually going to come up here and I already have blue up here. So I'm going to go and just grab this blue and throw that in right there. And then you can see that it gives us that nice color of blue. All right. So then now we have this and then you're going to want to also go. So we have our button over there as well. That's already um, highlighted. And then we can come back over here and every time. So you only have to do it once and the button is already um, our site the entire time, which is really cool. So then we can come back over here. Look if there's anything else you can come over here and just grab some more text, come over here and then we can just uh, paste that in right there as well. Again, you can go over here to these images right over here and you can uh, delete this. And then you can come over to images media over here and go with images. This time let's add in a video and let's just say, uh, make money. And you can go over here and just grab anything over here. So I'm going to add that into our video or into our, um, story. So, I mean, you can see that the software is, it's very, it's making this extremely responsive, however you want to make it. And it just looks really, really nice. And we'll go over to the next one as well. And we'll add some more text, come back up over here. And I'm just going to add, let's just add a bunch of text. If someone wants to read all of it, that's fine because this one does have a lot right here. And you can come over here <clears throat> to the text. You can change the text color right over here. And maybe we want to make it a black. We want to make it a red. <clears throat> I think it's better black. We can bold the text. And then we can come over here and make the text smaller if we wanted to as well. Uh, maybe this right here needs to be moved up just a little bit more. And then we want to make this a little bit bigger like so. And maybe we want to move the button over here and we're looking pretty slick right there. And then we'll just move over to the next area, right? Um, so then you're going to go and grab all your text. I'm going to go and just finish this up real quick. Affiliate marketing, we're going to copy that. Come in here, control A, oops, control A, control V, and we've got affiliate marketing and I'm going to push return a couple times right there. I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to make that bigger. And if we wanted to, we can add another text box in here to uh, maybe make this part pop out. So what I'll do is I'll add a text box heading and then this header is going to come up here and then maybe right here is where I'm going to go and type in affiliate marketing. And then when I'm in here, I'm going to remove this one right here. That makes sense. So then now we can move that over like that. We can also change our button text because we're not investing and we can just come over here and we can just say, um, learn more. And then we can come over here to affiliate marketing and we can make that even bigger if we wanted to. And then we can make it, this a, a bold. We can also change the text maybe to Anton and so forth. Right? So that looks really good. And then you just go and, um, we are done. So that is what our story will look like. It'll start right here. People can go and look at how cool this looks. And then finally, if they click on that, they will be able to go over. And then this is actually how it works. The way I believe it is that this can rank on Google. This actually can rank on Google, um, possibly more of a chance or more power behind it than even your website. And then they'll click over when they click on this and go over to your website. So this is where you would go publish. And once you go down, um, let's see right over here, your title is too short. So I do need to go and grab our title. And it's going to be right here because that is the keyword we're going after as well. So I'm going to put that in right there. You can add a logo, favicon and so forth. Um, made it made a tag right here. I'm just going to put that in right there. And then we have, um, your title is too long. It needs to be only 30 characters. Okay. So I'm going to go to character counter, uh, word counter right here and throw that in. And we need to go, with 
Okay, so it's 52 words and it needs to be 30 characters. Okay, so where is the... Okay, so I figured it out. I'm not really sure if that's how it works because I find it hard to believe that we would only be able to have, you know, that short of a title. Um, came over here to a word counter right here, 24, um, basically 24 characters. Um, we're right here, but then we go into the story validation. We do get all green check marks. We just go to next right here and you can go and you're going to add a custom domain right here. You have short codes right here and you have a short link and then you have an embed widget. You can copy this and put this in your website. I'm going to try the short link and see, um, no, I'm not going to do that. That would require us to have a, a, the web stories app also on our uh, plugin on our website. And I don't want to do that. I want to just come over here and grab and copy this come into our website over here and then I'm going to go into edit. We're going to edit this and see if we can add this web story. Just go into all posts. And this was the last one that I um, went after and then maybe halfway down. Um, and this would also be great because you're adding something as well to your site. Um, we can go in here and let's maybe say we can just say uh, HTML. We have a custom HTML right here. I'm going to go ahead and paste that in. And I don't know if this is going to work or not. We might need to um, um, put that plugin in. Um, let's see. We might need to put in that plugin in order to make that work. Um, nope, there it is right there. So it actually embedded it into our site right here. So you can see here it is just by embedding that code into our site. And people can read the uh, web story right here. We've got a web story. And let's just test it out. If someone clicked on it, there's going to be a button right here and that is going to take them. Okay. So I need to set that part up because it's taking them back to the site over here. So we will, I will get that part fixed, but um, nonetheless, that's how it works. And that's how you uh, get this on your site. We have a web story right here and this can potentially this right here, Google will index this and it will actually pick this web story up and it can rank in uh, potentially bring you traffic. Um, I will figure out that link thing over there. So that is this um, software over here called Story. It just launched today. Um, it does seem like a pretty valuable um, software over here that you're able to, to get these web stories created very quickly. So um, that is it for this review. If you want to go and check this out or pick this up, um, it will be on sale just for the for the next few days. And it's called Story, and it's uh, how you can create web stories for your sites. All right, thank you for your time, and I'll see you in the next video.